Hello, we are half of Apocalyptica. My name is Perttu. And my name is Eka. And I said we are half of Apocalyptica. The better half, of course. <laughs> the long-haired half. Well, first of all, let's skip the couple of years that nobody <laughs> yeah. wants to remember anymore. But it's been like more than amazing to get back to work, to get touring, seeing the world open, and how people are happily coming to the shows and enjoying the life again. So it's a fantastic thing, of course. Yeah. So we we've been busy with um, all the postponed shows. Finally, played the last ones in the spring, and uh, some Latin American tours, and working on new album. We've had already two sessions. Uh, we are working in LA on the new album and and um, doing it in different periods, like in few parts. And we'll be working on that. And then there's been planning the church shows coming again in the picture in the end of the year, playing at different festivals with different programs. Like uh, like today, it's gonna be today is gonna be very metal set. Yesterday we played this kind of whatever mixture set, and last Grilling week party. Let's have fun. Set. Yeah, yeah. Last yeah. week was a church show, and yeah, who knows what tomorrow brings. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's Actually, this is the first year or first time ever that we do the album recording in a period. Like, uh, I yeah. actually really, really like that you have a three weeks something going back to the gigs in meanwhile, and then continuing it. Different kind of fun and gives you fresh. Yeah. It's basically the first time we are making full, full album. album. Yeah, we made already uh, always just the singles and separate tracks in there. But yeah. 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 Why, why LA? Or is there just a good? Producer we went. Yeah. Good <laughs> yeah. The producer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a nice city yeah. as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I guess it, it was Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Tuesday afternoon, I got the call and uh, and then we figured out very fast uh, because we were supposed to fly to. Gothenburg tonight as we have a video shoot there tomorrow for a new song which is going to be out um, so it was a lot of checking out but then we're like okay yeah we can do it we can do it so we are very happy to be here yeah of course uh, sorry for uh, Halloween fans that uh, who were expecting them to perform but these kind of things sometimes happen and yeah. uh, and we we just have to try to make the best out of it uh, there was no possibility to play, uh, learn any Halloween songs, you know, <laughs> because we had yesterday the other yeah. show, and so the, uh, I know this uh, was uh, was way too short to kind of do that. But as we, it's very metal festival. That uh, the set list is pretty brutal, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's built for for yeah. that. Yeah. We're gonna give it all, all that we have in us, and uh, let's hope that people will enjoy it. Usually, yeah. people are entertained when Apocalyptica is on a stage. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, we involving a couple of like elements that, uh, for example, our light designer had to uh, communicate a lot with the, you know, time coding with the pyros and stuff that we usually didn't bring to the club shows or something. So these kind of things that are new, in a way, new to us. Or, uh, but. Uh, Let's hope that it's going to be a visually stunning, amazing thing. And I think that they had to somehow make the stage stronger because we wanted to bring a big, big ass <laughs> LED screen to make it look cool yeah. and stuff like yeah. this. So. The good good part uh, is that, that, that the tour we made with Epica, the co-headliner tour in the spring, was basically pretty, pretty big production. Mm. Uh, so we have already existing the screen content and stuff, you know, that we, we have most of the elements to make the big show because yeah. we play headliner shows there and there and uh, it, depending on the size of the festival and, and the possibilities, that, that dictates, you know, how much production you can bring in. And of course, you, it's hard to pull up in a few days like yeah. a huge production, but luckily, luckily we got all the pieces in, in place and uh, I think it's, it's gonna be like a big headliner show. Actually, um, this is especially built for this, and there are a couple of uh, songs that we didn't regularly play now because we want to offer people a happy, strong, whatever feeling. And we have a special guest also coming up. Yeah. Because we wanted to get a couple yeah. of harder songs and uh, with the singer, and uh, that's why we called a friend of ours uh, to join us. And and um, so, but of course, uh, it's. Wherever you go to play, you have to think about the context yes. you are going to perform. And so we are very used to the that. The fact is that you can't really be anybody else than yourself. And we <laughs> go wherever we are asked to go, we go there as Apocalyptica yeah. to join our lives, to join the music, to do our thing. 
and in a way trust in the feel that if we are true to the music and having fun and joy that mm -hmm. that, that would deliver to the audience as well. Yeah. yeah. Well you say you have to be yourself but I guess there's also not another band like Apocalypse. Luckily no, we, yeah. are, we have no competition <laughs> in this so it's easy yeah. to be the best. <laughs> That's our 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 uh, strength and the curse yeah, that we are true. Apocalypse. <laughs> Why is it a curse though? <laughs> no, it's not. No, no. <laughs> it's actually, I think it's unbelievable, a blessing even to think that we have had such a long career already and uh, like we are still able to do this in a very nice level and uh, we're still enjoying each other and to play each other <laughs> after. Actually, after the COVID years, I think that uh, the feeling inside the band yeah. got only better. Like yeah. last year yeah. when we first time had the first real gigs after all the break, uh, it was like unbelievable the same joy yeah. when we were teenagers and started the entire yeah. thing yeah we have been managed to kind of cope <laughs> with whatever internal yeah. problems it's natural that every band go through struggles good times and uh, it's complicated to be all the time working with the same faces and uh, everybody grows sometimes people grow to the different directions here but I would say that one of the strengths of Apocalyptica has been the friendship that we mm. always understood to really cherish and treasure that it's the most important thing in the group that at the moment when we lose connection to each other there is no real band anymore. And it's pretty incredible that we have been this very same lineup for 20 years already. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to convince anybody because uh, it feels like people really enjoy it to be on stage with us and, uh, and to make music with us. Like we had yesterday, we had a pale face. We made this uh, special song for the sports gala two years ago, the new version of Peter Speed. He was uh, featuring yesterday and and um, our, our strategy has always been with all the guests. It's that we are not, we don't want to work with anybody. They don't want to work with us. So it hasn't been never like, okay, Let's try to get that and that singer with huge amount of money or something. You know, it's like if we find a field, oh, it's yeah. exciting to do something together, then we do it. And, you know, sometimes we ask people, they are not available. Now we were lucky that the first person that came to mind and he was like, oh, yeah, I, I have nothing on Friday. Oh, it would be great, you know. Yeah, it happened many times. And we also did uh, features for other artists as Apocalyptica. We've done quite frequent. The last one's yeah. the, the Erasmus, uh, Three Days Grace. You know, it's like sometimes leader, bigger. Sabaton was a big collaboration. You know, it involved many, it included many, many different things mm -hmm. uh, in the collaboration. So, so that happens. And sometimes we can react and sometimes we can't. And mm -hmm. it, it's case sensitive always. Yeah. Depends on timing. Usually the biggest issue is the timing. Yeah. But the best thing about collaborations, no matter whether participating in some other's work or inviting people to ours, yeah. is the fresh ideas and the new takeoff. And it, always it feels like you learn something new about things and you can do try different kind of tricks with the music. So it's really, really fascinating. And I think also one of the important and interesting part of Apocalyptica that we don't have the regular own singer, so we can basically pick, yeah. <laughs> pick the best yeah. apples and, and be lucky bastards that the people yeah. want to work with us. Yeah. Actually, yes. it's really interesting. Uh, no matter if they are instrumental new arrangements or uh, such things, and then retake vocal versions of uh, old songs. That's again a different perspective for music and uh, in a way challenging ourselves to think outside the box or not uh, finding ourselves repeating the same thing all over the over decades because that has been one of the biggest flames in the band I think the constant feel that we want to feel we go forwards and still try to figure out the weird things that are possible to do with those strange instruments yeah well you, you mentioned that you uh, from the collaborations you learn something every day but do you still learn new things on cello like even having yeah 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 every, every, every <laughs> single day we at yeah. least like oh I didn't know that it's possible to play cello in this weird yeah. position yeah, yeah. <laughs> We did the church tour uh, yep. almost two years ago and the, the idea came in, we had had that a longer time because we had played some church concerts in the past, like, but with more regular program and we felt that it would be exciting to, to figure out something that really is designed for the space. 
to, for the feel of, of, of the room and, and the acoustics and stuff. And then in COVID times when uh, everything was on hold and our normal shows were on hold because they, people had bought the tickets for the Cell Zero tour. So we couldn't start to do some other shows. We were like, okay, but we can do a different concept. Yeah, and it was also restricted to basically travel to any other country. So yeah. we thought that, okay, at that time Finland was more open for this yeah. three meter, whatever strange arrangements. <laughs> but yeah, yeah uh, church for that is also nice because people can be seated far away from yeah. each other and still yeah. hear you. <coughs> Except our p- church were very packed. <laughs> yeah, they were packed, yeah. But yeah, it's a very interesting and different kind of a concept and I yeah. uh, would recommend for anybody who likes <coughs> the cool, uh, moody music. Yeah, we, we were taking when we were making arrangements and choosing the songs. We were very aware of how the sound is in the church and what kind of things get messy and what, what, what works in there. And that's how we, we rearrange the old songs, a lot of old songs. Um, based on the field, like, like for example, Mikko's drum kit uh, is more based on electronics and uh, percussions and stuff. So, so we can control the sound space. Yeah. But of course, it requires very, very good uh, sound sound guy, which we yeah. luckily have. Yes. In a way, it feels really good that we can bring our things. We are doing basically strong, moody, apocalyptic thing, but. Uh, in a style, of course we respect the church and the meaning of the place for many many people but uh, still it feels like showing little teeth there is kind of very fasc- fascinating thing because of course those venues they have an enormously amazing atmosphere already, the mood and uh, at least our kind of music fits to so many different situations and locations. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's, it's been in the, in the cities and villages, it's been the place where people gather yeah. together to experience something together. And whether it's a messe or you know it's a, it's a service or whatsoever, or funerals or weddings, or why, why couldn't be the, the great space that... Uh, I think apocalyptic <laughs> show in church is kind of a mixture of it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, why not to use the space also yeah. for other things, which are not, you know... Yeah. Of course, the, the origin of the church and the, what is the origin of it uh, and what it means to, as Perto said, the, what, what is the meaning of this uh, space as a holy space uh, for, for uh, uh, people that should be, of, of course, always uh, appreciated. Um, maybe it's better we don't say much. Yeah, I should not say, but uh, the main aim is to have it outside, out uh, about, about half way next year and then we are gonna tour big time after that and, uh, and it's gonna be great amazing yeah. <laughs> well I suppose so yeah. but let's put it that way that <laughs> we have challenged ourselves in the new ways once again yes yeah a lot this year we're going to play a festival in China in a couple of weeks one in Portugal then we go back to LA to try to finish the album then we have the church shows and then it's probably an, uh, another visit to, to East Asia um, so it looks very busy, yeah. you know, just only the, finishing the album itself, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of tasks and, and of course we are, you know, renewing our web store and the merchandise and creating new stuff in there and there's a lot of planning, artworks, videos, whatsoever. Plus there's going to be one new song out in, uh, during the autumn, uh, one single, oh, is which, the is one not re- which is not related to the album. It's yeah. just, oh. uh, just a cool song. But that's a music video you're going to shoot. Yes, yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Yes. You have a good memory. Yes. I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, there's, there's, <laughs> so there's constantly a lot of stuff coming. And, yeah. uh, during the winter, before the album release, there are going to be actually quite some releases. Also before studio album. Oh, but that's uh, the stuff with the guests. No? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. With and without. It's like... It's actually a lot of stuff on the table. Okay. So with, with Apocalyptica, it's always better to stay tuned. Tuned yeah. um, because there is constantly something going on. I don't want to have the last thought. There should yeah. be still decades of life left. Um, <laughs> but last thought. Yeah, let's go there and enjoy our lives. It's going to be an interesting, fantastic thing. And people seem to be warm and happy and everything. Sun is shining. So um, yeah. let's go make the rain. Yes. <laughs> Please no. <laughs>